This tutorial explains how to reproduce and fix the error message arguments imply differing number of rows in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So the error message arguments imply differing number of rows is usually occurring when we are trying to create a new data frame. And we can reproduce the error message as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message in data frame arguments imply differing number of rows is returned. And the reason for that is that we have tried to create two columns with a different length. So the first column has a length of five values and the second column x2 has a length of six values. And this error message usually occurs when we try to combine vector or column values with a different length. So let's assume that we want to combine these two column values anyhow. Then we might apply the code that you can see in lines five and six. So in line five of the code, I'm creating a new vector object as my column x1. And in this column, I'm specifying the values one to five that I have already specified before. But this time I'm also changing the length of the column by adding an, an a value at the last position of the column. And by doing that, our two columns have the same length. So if you run lines five and six of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame was created without showing an error message. And as you can see, our first column has an NA value at the end of the column. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.